to share my idea of how I made this coach design now this coach design is very hard to make it with the thread so I invented a new way to make it so I made it with this glitter dimensional fabric paint by tulip so I made this one made it very easy now the hardest part for this was just drawing it on the fabric and that also I achieved by first doing the design in a piece of paper and then transferring it to a little piece of fabric with these are called graphite paper and in India this is called carbon paper so I transfer the design in a piece of fabric and after that I use the graphite paper put it over here and then put the fabric and transfer the design into the fabric so now I'm going to draw in this design and let it I'm going to put a frame so it will be easy to do it with the paint. So it's just like stitching but just you don't have to stitch. Now I'm going to put this frame and then draw it. And once I draw it, then I have to be very careful to take out this because I don't want the design to get messed up. So I'm going to wait a little bit. So let me show you how to do it. I have the design and I'm going to use this glitter paint. So you're just going to follow along this design line. Now it might be little bit here and there different because it may not come out exactly like the design you draw here. So like this. Now as I mentioned to you before previously all my videos this design looks good when it dries it does not look good when it's wet when it's wet you might think of it as totally a different design then when it's dry it really looks nice so there's our already our one flower and the second one is attached to it already So doing this there's nothing to it just you have to be very patient So pretty much this side is done See, so this two flower done. Now I'm going to go to the third one. And they are sort of connected. Now I find actually doing the design with this paint, design looks much more prettier and I have the option to put sequins and beads in it. I find it much more is a good work than the stitching and in three hours it will dry and look so beautiful so now I'm going to pull this and this is the last one Now if it gets little bit messed up while you're doing it, don't panic. You can just wipe it off. So you see, that's done. This is your kuch design. And now I'm going to put these dots. Now in these dots, 
you can put beads you can put pearl you can put sequin I'm going to put sequin and I can put pearl in the sides I may do that later uh, once these dried out then I can choose to put some more other things inside so I fill in all of these now I'm going to put some sequin in it now this design through this paint is my invention so this is I am I am the first one to make the kuch design with this paint so there you have it you can put anything in there beads sequins pearls and once it dries now if you have while you're doing working with the sequence if you do fall down just don't worry about it just stick it the way it is together it don't look bad but dragging it out and making a stain it will look bad now if it does get stained then don't panic all you need to do is wipe it off while it's wet when it's dry then it's permanent so i think we got them all so there it is your kuch design and it's done by this glitter dimensional fabric paint and sequence and i'm gonna let it dry for three hours and then i'll do the other design so i uh, will let me dry this and then i'll show you the other design so the kuch design is going to dry so it's going to take about two three hours in the meantime i will show you this rhinestone design as well so for the ice stone design, it was pretty simple. I just started with the centering one rhinestone. And this is, I have the biggest size. So I put one in the center and just press it down. Since these are bigger, you just do it by your finger. And then each one of them, you drop it and see how, how much space it takes. And this kurta I actually made it so one day I will take out the machine and I will show you how I did this kurta. I haven't used the machine for a while so I'm going to have to see if it's working still. So we're going to put about seven rhinestone in it. So if you put a little bit big dot, then it will stay for longer. Otherwise, uh, it might fall off so you have to make sure you put sufficient amount okay so now I'll let this one dry in the meantime I will put some pearl in here so one two three four so I will put four pearls in all of these so I'll just let these two dry and then Put in others when you do these works you need to be very patient because you have to let one or two what you make dry first and then move to others because you don't want them to get messed up this takes a little while to dry so i put four pearls in there so there you have it i have my kuch design and my design with my rhinestone
this, this is right now it's very delicate just want to show you now we're going to leave it just like this for three hours to dry thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and i will see you with many 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 more videos and many of my new investments